Hey developers, today I'm gonna to talk about five resources that you can use to learn Vue.js 3 today. And then we're also gonna talk a little bit about some help I need from you guys. Vue 3 is coming out very soon. There's gonna be some really cool things coming out. I need to talk to you guys about that, so make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video and then I'll tell you a little bit about that. Also, throughout this video, uh, I'm gonna talk about these different resources, but they're all gonna be linked in the description below. So at any time, make sure you just check out the description in the links below and so you can check out all these different resources. And if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you smash smash that like button and go ahead and click that subscription button that really helps me all right so let's just go and jump right on into it so here is the first of the five resources that i wanted to show you guys so if you go to v3.vuejs.org you can actually get into the beta version documents for the view three basically documentation. So if you wanna see what they're working on right now, you can go to v3.vuejs.org and check it out. So let's just take a quick look. You can see here, this is the main page. And also shout out to all the cool people, all the cool cats and kitties out there that are actually creating these documentations and helping the community. It's pretty awesome. But you can see it has a guide, has a style guide. It looks very similar obviously to the view two view two documentation because a lot of these things are staying the same between view three and view two there are definitely some changes which we'll talk about a lot of the things are going to work the same so the migration for most people is, is going to be pretty easy obviously some of the bigger things like the composition api that's changed looks you can see right here on the left hand side uh a whole section on the composition api rendering like it tells you the introductions the setup so a lot of great information here i'd highly recommend to start reading it because Vue 3 is coming and I really don't think there's any reason not to upgrade to Vue 3 when it comes out. So you really wanna start getting yourself familiar with this. Like why composition API? And it kind of gives the, the classic example where you have a large component and you have all this data in different places, but maybe you can, uh, you know, if with the composition API, you can kind of separate the logic into different places and maybe even to its own files. It talks about the variables. Look, they even have nice little illustrations. That's really cool. Uh, lifecycle hook registrations, like how you do that with inside the composition API, how you use watch, um, computed properties. I think those are like one of the two most important things you need to kind of learn when you when you start looking at the composition API, also like ref and object. Yeah, so I mean, looks like it's really thorough, has some really great, uh, great information here. There's also, uh, I'm gonna include this a part of it, but there's a whole migration guide, which I think a lot of people are interested in. I did a quick video on migrating an app I've done a few videos on this. Uh, I wanna do another one, just kinda of, kind of deep dive into what things are being deprecated or not, but this is, uh, this is really great because you can see right away, here are some of the new features, composition API, tele teleport fragments, emit component options. But you can see here are the things that are breaking. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Like global view APIs changed to use the application instance. Uh, you can see here, Model component option, the vbind sync modifiers removed from favor of vmodel. So now it used to use dot sync. Now you have to use vmodel. And by the way, when I was using the view next to upgrade a view two app to view three, it actually did some of these things for me. So I'm assuming some of these things you're gonna have to do manually. Some of the things during the migration, it'll do it for you, which is nice. Well, you can see here some transition classes got renamed. Functional attributes and single file components, template and functional components or options are deprecated. There's a defined async component, some changes with slots. I mean, a lot of these things are minor, but you can look at all these different things that are getting uh, breaking. So you can know like what you need to change. And it even has a fact, like where should I start the migration? There's a there's a migration helper, I guess, which is not out yet, um, which is kind of neat. I will have to definitely make a video on that as soon as this migration helper is out. And then uh, browse, looks like browse to the tab of contents for this page on the sidebar. So it's like, yeah, use this documentation. Uh, you know, check your tests. That's always a great way to check for migrations. And uh, it even gives you like, how long will it take? Depends on a few factors. So that's really cool. So I'd say this is the first resource that I would definitely check out the official documentation. Look at the beta documentation. Right now they're in release candidate. So it's coming very quickly. Uh, also, I wanna just go ahead and give myself a shout out. I have a course called Vue 360 for Vue newbie to impressively job ready. We are including Vue 3. Uh, I've ran this class a couple of times and we've had a whole sections on Vue 3 uh, when it was in beta. But what we're gonna do now, as soon as this uh, Vue is officially released, I'm gonna create another 
class of this. This is a, something where I open up a few times a year. I have students in it. We go through like usually between a five to six week program where every week we get together in these online classrooms. We talk about a uh, view. It's a really in-depth, uh, really uh, great course for beginners and advanced. And actually I'm having two tracks this year, but I'm really excited to announce this is coming back soon. And I just wanna say if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. You can put your email address in here and then I'll let you know uh, as soon as the, uh, as soon as the uh, basically enrollment opens, I'll email you. And also uh, as soon as you're on this list, I'll start emailing you every week or so with you know what's new and what's happening. And then give you updates on the View360 course as it opens again. So I'm really excited about this. This is a, a definitely an intense course, but it's great for beginners and advanced. So uh, yeah, I just want to shout that out. Just give myself a little plug, but that's a resource you can use too. Uh, also, uh, the View Composition API RFC. So the RFC is is really is really great. You can go into a lot of detail here. This is what I've been using for a while before the official documentations have been updated and the beta documentations, because it goes into a lot of detail of what you can expect in View Three. And this is really focused just on the Composition API, but a great great resource there. Also a little shout out to View Mastery. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check out View Mastery. I also uh, am an affiliate for them. Uh, then there's also the View Composition API reference documentation. And then once again, this just kind of deep dives into a lot of stuff. This is probably a lot easier to go through if you go through the official documentation. But if you want to kind of look through uh, a lot of detail, maybe a little bit a lower level, then I would check out, take a look at the view composition API. So this is gonna go into a lot more detail and you can see like, here's unref, to ref. I haven't even used unref yet, which is how new, like they, they're definitely uh, updating this. Is proxy, is reactive, is ref, cut advanced reactivity APIs, custom ref, mark raw, shall receive, shall read only. So these are definitely like uh, lower level, more, just everything you can do with the Composition API. So I would check out this reference. And then, of course, the official documentation, uh, which I mentioned before, but this is really driven by the project itself. So if you look at the GitHub view next, this is essentially the actual app as they are contributing to it. And as the view three is going along its different stages, this repo is getting updated. So it's not a bad idea to look at the GitHub readme to find out like what's happening. So you can see here, like right now, as of this recording, it's in a release candidate, release candidate five. And you can see here, like all merge RFCs. Um, you can actually use the uh, the view next plugin. That's what I've been using in some of my tutorials. And it just kind of tells you what to expect. And even tells you status of the rest of the framework, like view routers and beta six, view X is in beta four, view CLI, GSX comp compatibility. So, and then if you really wanted to deep dive, just look at the issues people are bringing up. Uh, this isn't always fun and exciting, but you may find, wow, you know, there's a problem with one of the features or this is how you do something like this. So definitely take a look at the view next official repository. And last, uh, I already gave myself one shout out, but I'm gonna give myself one more shout out because you can go to my, this YouTube channel you're watching right now I don't know if you know, but I have been adding a playlist of all the View 3 videos, and this is absolutely 100% for free. So if you go to my web page, basically click on the program with Eric at the top, scroll down, you could see here, I'll make it a little bigger, uh, right under uploads, I added this new section called View 3. And right now I think there's like 10 videos in it, but I go into like how to add View 3, converting API composition, portals, an upgrade guide, View 3 TypeScript, a lot of people really love my TypeScript video I just did. We created a View 2 app, we used the View Next plugin to upgrade it to View 3, and then we added in everything we need to to make it a, a TypeScript app, which is really cool. And same thing with this View X4. And I even look at adders. Yeah, so check out some of my playlists. I actually have tons of playlists. This View 3 one, I would check out for sure if you're looking to learn View 3, but I have tons of playlists on, on CSS, Udemy course reviews, web developer advice, Visual Studio Code, a lot of people love VS Code. I think I even have a few other view components, view essentials. Uh, so I have lots of different playlists, so check those out. So if you guys have made it all the way to the end here, I really appreciate it. Uh, I just wanna say um, I'm really happy about this channel. This is actually my 501st video. So we've been doing this for over three and a half years. It's uh, 
probably really closer to four years. I've done over 500 videos and it's been uh, amazing. Um, you know, definitely uh, I'm really excited about this, about my YouTube channel and I want to go on for another 500 videos. So first I want to just thank everybody, but what I really wanted to do is I really want to find out what you guys are interested in. What do you guys want to see next? So leave a comment below. What videos do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see more view videos? Do you want to see view X videos? Uh, yeah, cause I'm really trying to figure out what do you guys want to see? And also, uh, you know, how can I really expand this, this group of people and keep growing the YouTube channel and keep reaching more people and helping more people. And that's really my goal. So if you can also share this channel with anybody, that would be really helpful and appreciative, especially if someone's trying to learn view, tell them to check out program with Eric, try to tell them, check out the playlist. I have tons of playlists and just getting started with view. And if you are looking for just kind of level up your view, you know, check out my official course, you know, go to course.viewcourse.tech or look in the link in the description below, you know, sign up for it. Uh, you know, this is a really intense, really great course. It's a little bit more higher priced, but I do also offer some lower price courses too. Give me some feedback in the in the uh, comments below. Let me know what I can work on, what, what videos that you guys are really looking for. And it's really gonna help me for the next 500 videos I do. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, take care.